Tesla and Rolls-Royce are two manufacturers that used to feature in Forza games, yet have been very prominently absent from the last few Forza titles. To give you the simple reason for their absence, it's obviously down to a lack of licensing, but there is far more to it than just that, as both these manufacturers have their reasons which prevent Forza from reaching any licensing agreements with them. So in this video, we are going to be taking a look at why both Tesla and Rolls-Royce refuse to feature in Forza Horizon 5. Let's get into it. First of all, it's important to understand why Forza want the manufacturers and why most manufacturers want to be in Forza. The deal varies a bit from manufacturer to manufacturer and from car to car, but generally speaking, the more cars Forza adds to the game, the better the car list becomes, which in turn helps them sell more copies of the game and therefore generate more money. On the manufacturer's side of the picture, having their cars featured in Forza games is just a really good form of advertising advertising, which is meant to help them sell more cars. Although for more exclusive manufacturers, it's more a case of using the advertising to increase the value of their cars through making them more desirable. This is how the deal often works, where it's just a win-win, help each other make more money kind of thing. But sometimes Forza will also pay a sum of cash to the manufacturer just to get the deal over the line if the manufacturer has any objections. Or if Forza want to make a specific car exclusive to their games, they may also pay the manufacturer a sum of money to make that happen. Offer me money. Offer me power. I don't care. But despite all the potential benefits Tesla or Rolls-Royce could receive, they both have reasons why they think it's more beneficial not to feature in Forza games. So let's start with Tesla. Tesla appeared in both Forza Motorsport 4 and 6, as well as in Horizon 2 and 3. But that was back when Tesla had a PR department and actually did advertising. Since then, Tesla have stopped spending money on any kinds of PR or advertising related things. With Elon Musk saying, that Tesla don't spend money on advertising and manipulating public opinions, and instead they focus on the product. But that does raise questions, as in order to feature in Forza games, Tesla wouldn't have to spend any money. So the only reason for objection would be that Elon Musk classifies featuring in video games as a form of manipulating public opinion rather than focusing on the product. However, not long ago, the old 2012 Tesla Model S made an appearance in Gran Turismo 7. So I I'm not too sure what the logic is there, although as Tesla don't have a PR department, it must be quite complicated to reach a licensing agreement with them, as it would often be the PR team that would handle all advertising related things like appearing in a video game. So overall, the reason for Tesla's absence is clearly either because they see appearing in a Forza game as manipulating public opinion, or just because Tesla don't have a PR department for Forza to negotiate a licensing agreement with. Either way, if Gran Turismo can get Tesla, surely Forza can find a way in the future. Now let's move on to Rolls-Royce. Having featured in Forza Motorsport 5, 6 and 7, as well as in Horizon 3, Rolls-Royce hasn't returned since. The reason all comes down to preserving an image of brand exclusivity. Having their cars in a video game doesn't allow the smoothness and luxury interiors of their cars to really shine, as none of that can be experienced through the game. So ultimately, players would only really be able to experience the handling of their cars, of which they didn't feel too different to a Chrysler back on Forza Horizon 3. And being compared with a Chrysler is really not the way Rolls-Royce would want to be seen. Another factor is that by the nature of Horizon games, you can drive all over the place and get your car covered in dirt, which takes away from the shiny, polished aesthetic that Rolls-Royce want associated with their cars. So you can understand why this does all somewhat taint the image of prestige and exclusivity that Rolls-Royce is all about. As to how Forza previously managed to get them in the game, that will forever remain a mystery. All we can do is hope they return in the future, although it does seem unlikely. And that's everything for this video. Hopefully it's now all clear to you why neither of these brands want their cars in Forza Horizon 5. If you enjoyed it, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.